you know, whether male or female, all of us become socialized in a way to express our sex in a conventional manner. At least that's often our socialization. And we can go along like that for a while, but sometimes when trouble comes, we get thrown back on ourselves and we have to deepen. Now, when we deepen, we access the inner male or inner female in our unconscious, which for women is the inner male and for, for men is the inner female. So for a woman who's thrown back on herself, she will find that the inner male brings a new objectivity and a new steadiness to her. And it will, this male aspect inside will help her move out of um, emotional confusion. So she will feel emotions, but the inner male within will bring her to a clarity. Yeah, it's sort of like if you feel your emotions fully, you finally access kind of a message from your soul that the emotions were covering up. They were kind of blocking. So this is the, you know, inner male communicating to the female. You know, again, to bring her into this steady objectivity. Um, and it gives her a strength and a clarity that if we're just in our female, we, we lack. And really, whether we're married or not, to really be functioning people in, um, in a whole way, in a complete way, we have to get to know our, the other sex inside us. Now, for a man, the woman inside will bring him intuitions, it will bring him relatedness, so he'll feel more connected up with others and all of life. And <clears throat> she will help his relationships too. She will keep him plugged in emotionally, um, you know, higher emotional IQ. She'll dream, you know, she'll bring dreams and intuitions. Mm. And he'll become a, a deeply feeling man. So he'll have the full deck, um, the masculine clarity, strength, steadiness, but also the connectedness and high emotional IQ of the feminine. And again, for the, for the woman, she'll have her full feeling and emotions and intuitions, but it will be backed by this loving masculine energy, giving her this objectivity, steadiness, and strength. So I just wanted to spell this out because sometimes when we're growing, um, it can be uncomfortable and our psyche might want us to allow more input from our the other sex within to help us and we can feel that it's not allowed or be scared. And so just allow it. <laughs> you know, it's better to have both aspects of yourself operating. And I know for myself that I never would be able to do this work I'm doing without full support of my inner male. It's like in the old days when I was just kind of in asleep and in my conditioning, my inner male would be oppressing and judging my feminine. Yeah. And as the transformation happened, my inner male has, has transformed. So <laughs> he's this wonderful guy. And he's, he gives me strength and supports the, the emotional side, my feminine aspect. And he is the one who is helping me bring this teaching into the world. Yeah. So, you know, really, as you progress, we, we end up kind of falling in love with our inner 
aspect. And do you know, mother and God are, mother and father God are madly in love with each other. You know, the masculine and the feminine, in their innocence, they just adore each other and seamlessly support each other. And it's just, you know, a little bit our alienated culture where we're a little bit too overly lodged in our heads and not so much in our hearts. And so because we're lodged in our hearts, we're critical of ourselves. I mean, because we're lodged in our heads, we're, we're unduly critical of ourselves and others, which makes relationships harder. So as we come into our hearts and wake up fully, it heals this wounding, it heals this separation. And we start feeling closer to ourselves and closer to the opposite sex and closer to others in our lives. Okay, so bless your hearts, just keep going, okay? <clears throat> it's, a, it's, a long, it's a long journey, yeah. And the only person judging you is yourself, you know? Okay, bless your hearts.